I hope you all are doing well. There have been new news reports going around, so allow me to catch you up to speed. In our last Gunderson Live episode, I shared some information about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Well, as of recently, new information has surfaced. As most of us already know, a couple weeks ago, only six women experienced rare blood clots from this vaccine. Well, out of those women, three of them have tragically died. And 50 more cases of women from the age 18 to 59 are now experiencing these rare blood clots. A week ago, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was paused, but now it is reopened again to the public with a warning that comes with it about these rare blood clots. Out of those 15 new blood clot cases, they all consist of women. 12 of the cases, the blood clots are found in the brain. This vaccine is only available for people 18 and over. So if you know that a family member has taken the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, I suggest you check up on them just in case. A few symptoms include leg pain, head and abdominal pain, and trouble breathing. For those symptoms, it's not just a slight headache or a little bit of leg pain. If you really have these rare blood clots, you would be in excruciating pain. It would be so unbearable that you would want to go to the hospital. So yes, there is a risk, and yes, the shot is scary, but about 8 million of people have taken the Johnson & Johnson shot and experienced no complications. So only 15 cases out of 8 million people, I'd say those are still pretty good odds. In other news, last Friday, there were 52.6% of adults who already got the vaccine in the United States, total. So we're halfway to 100%, which is excellent. Also, shocking news, get this, Caitlyn Jenner is running to be the next governor of California. Yeah, you heard me right, the Caitlyn Jenner, the one associated with the Kardashians, she is running to be the next California's governor. I, I don't know about you guys, but when I heard about that, I was shocked. I could not believe it. And finally, some exciting news, the CDC is re-looking into the mask guidelines. So maybe, just maybe, wearing a mask won't even be a requirement anymore. But it's all talk as of right now. Nothing's been set yet. So everyone, still continue to wear those masks, wash your hands, distance yourself from others, and I hope you guys all stay safe and have a wonderful week. Back to the show. Seniors, information regarding graduation will start to be communicated soon. Cap and gowns and graduation yard signs will be distributed soon in about two weeks, so be on the lookout for an announcement or an, on distribution days. Foundations generously buy our your graduation yard signs this year so everyone gets one at no cost. Additionally, information about how the virtual graduation will work and things you need to submit will also be coming out soon. Once this information is sent out, the counselors will post, post it on their campus page so be on the lookout for it. This will be time sensitive and need your immediate attention. Lastly, are you interested in being a speaker at graduation? If so, submit your application using this link. There are three roles available. One graduate to set the Pledge of Allegiance and two graduates to give a graduation speech. Applications are due May 5th. Hi Grizzlies, I am here in Japantown at a salon called Mr. and Mrs. Today I'm speaking with the owner of this establishment, Angelica Vargas. She is such a huge inspiration because not only is she Latina, but she is also a woman who created this whole entire business during the beginning of COVID. 
When a bunch of small businesses were failing, she decided to create a whole entire business and that is just really inspirational and crazy. Okay, let's go ask her a few questions. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, I'm doing great. That's how are you? Great. <laughs> I'm doing great. So, first question is, how does it feel owning your own business? It feels great to own your own business. It's been a lifelong passion of mine. I've been in this industry for a really long time, so it's something that I've always wanted to do and inspire. So what is it like opening up the salon during COVID? Um, it really helped pave the timing of just building out my business. It was hard times, of course, hairdressers. We really did suffer a lot through this time, but it was something that I really am passionate about and it helped to focus on things like getting my business portfolio together to building out the ambiance that I really wanted to have in the salon. Well, you did it, it looks amazing. Yeah, I it love it, so cute, thank you. <laughs> now, the governor recently announced that on June 15th, everything will be opened up again. How do you feel about that? Are you nervous, excited? Yeah, I think it seems like too soon and also too good to be true. Learning from what our experience was during COVID, kind of just an eye-opening to keep the mask and a lot of the cleaning Cleaning is really important for customers. I still want to keep and implement that. If anybody who's watching right now wants to make an appointment, what do they have to do? <laughs> Go on your app store and download Vagaro. It's an app online and it's free. And type in our salon's name and it will come up. You can look at who's working here, how much our prices are. You can book your own appointment, cancel it at any time. It's really simple, it's easy. And of course, call or email the salon. And then we start your service. <laughs> so well, that's great. Thank you so much for being a part of this yes, interview. Yes, absolutely. It. If any of you guys want to get a haircut, come down to Mr. and Mrs. on 4th and Jackson. And for any of you Blade Runner fans, this whole entire salon is a Blade Runner theme, which is really cool. There's a lot of detail put into this establishment, so if you want to come by, we hope to see you soon. Back Hi, Grizzlies. The, the Santa Clara County of Office and Education, Earn and Learn, and Mission College are excited to be co-hosting a week of inspiring, informative arts, media, and entertainment for high school students, teachers, and community college students. This link will show a flyer where Zoom session links and any other links are. This will be hosted on May 3rd through May 7th, and they are really excited for anybody to show up. Grizzlies. If you're interested in getting in touch with your community and dabbling in tech, well, text is just for you. Text, or means exploring technology, is offering an eight week free summer program that will take place virtually. In this program, you will learn how to code in order to create different mobile apps which will better the community. You can check it out more at this link and you can apply below at this link, which the passcode is posted right here. So go on and check it out if you're interested and with this program, the winning team, which creates the best app, will win up to $2,000. That's all, Grizzlies. Have a good one. Hey, Grizzlies seniors. Since your high school years are almost coming to an end, there will be a new chapter in your life with one of them may being college. Since college is such a different and new thing for the class of 2021, I just want to share some college tips to help you out with this new exciting journey. Tip number one, budget. Be responsible with your spendings and take breaks. The last thing you want to do is struggle financially. Step number two, set goals and be organized. Always be ahead of the game. The last thing you want to do is fall back. For this new year, you could get a planner and plan stuff ahead of time so it causes less stress on yourself. Tip number three, time management. Try to put yourself over others and make wise choices with your time. And lastly, step number four, be social. You're going to see a lot of new faces, so maybe take advantage of that and make some new friends.
Hi, I'm Kalha, and yeah, um, I got my COVID-19, my first dose of my COVID-19 vaccine on, um, April 20th, and, uh, I got it in a, uh, drive through a uh, vaccine place, I'm not sure what you call them, but I remember it was, like, you, it was, like, a drive-in place where you could get your vaccine, and my experiences were, um, I, I was, my arm was sore for, like, a couple of days. It was, like, really annoying because, like, I could lift, I could try to lift my arm up and I'm just, like, no, just no. So, um, yeah, it, it was not that bad, but I'm getting my second dose on May 11th, so, I'm not sure, probably on my, yeah, probably on my birthday, I'll be really sick, so, uh, yeah. So, for what I plan to do after I'm fully vaccinated, um, I, hmm, I mean, I'll probably be going out more than I did last year. I'll still be careful, but, like, I'll still have my mask on and everything. I'll be careful still, but, uh, I'll probably, like, you know, actually go outside more, ride it, and, uh, hopefully I can hang out with my friends soon, so, mm, yeah. Hello, guys and students. My name is Brian Fan, and I'm here to remind you about AP tests again. This year, all AP tests will be for free. Also this year, there will be four in-person tests for APs. First one will be AP Calculus AB and BC, AP Physics, AP Spanish, and AP Statistics. All of these besides AP Spanish will have a digital version, but they'll be taking place in June, which is after the school year has ended. All the other AP tests, as of now, will all be digital. Attention Grizzlies! Our yearbook leadership team will be handing out yearbooks to all student body on Saturday, May 29th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you purchased one, you may come to Gunderson High School to our drive through distribution. If you do stop by, you are required to wear a mask, stay in your car, drive up to our team, show us your Gunderson School ID, and we will hand you your yearbook through the car window after you've told us your name. For extra measures, you may want to have a digital receipt handy that shows you bought a yearbook, just in case your name may not be on our list of students who purchased a book. Thank you. Gunnison. I would like to inform the seniors that if you guys want to do a speech at our graduation, there is an application that you guys could fill out and it's due May 5th. All you have to do is click this link or scan this code on your camera and it, it should take you to the link. Don't forget to submit your statement of intent because May 1st is College Decision Day. Make sure you have your colleges picked out and your statement to intent submitted. Thank you.